number one tip for better soldering is get a better soldering iron. For a long time, I used those cheap soldering sticks that I paid like 25 bucks for. Maybe I got it from Radio Shack. Who knows? Auto parts store. Uh, but, you know, every time I went to solder something, it was like, uh, wait for it to heat up. Uh, hold it down. Hold the solder down. Wait for the solder to melt. Well, I'm getting kind of older. And my hands shake a little bit sometimes. And, uh, you know, quick is better. If I can just heat it, solder it, get in and out. The quicker in and out, uh, the easier it is for me. And I'm by no means uh, a great at soldering. My soldering skills are probably amateur at best. But, so I went searching for a new soldering iron. And uh, it was recommended to me that I buy a soldering station. And I looked online and I saw lots of places where the soldering irons were incredibly expensive. But then I found this one. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to go to a website. So now that we're on our desktop, you can look at the www.circuitspecialist.com and if you click on soldering equipment and go to soldering stations, or just click on soldering equipment. And they have soldering irons here too, but I'm done with soldering irons. I'm only going to use soldering stations from here on out if I can if I can help it. But uh, so when I was looking, I was like, there, you can spend hundreds of dollars on a, a decent soldering station. And, but I saw this and somebody recommended circuit specialists. So twenty four ninety five. I mean, this is basically what you get. You get the, the, sta uh, the, uh, the station, the stick, the iron itself, and the little whatever you call that and they have they have better they have if, if you have no soldering irons and you have nothing this is a great deal right here because you get like tons of stuff uh, but I didn't most of this stuff I already had so it was like although that would have been nice look at all those tips yeah little screwdriver set but 24.95 I mean how can you beat that now they one of the things that I found out is when I went to order this is I saw that that they were actually located in the same state as I was actually I work just maybe five miles away from this location. So I called them up and uh, asked them, I says, can I stop by and buy one on my lunch break? That way I don't have to pay for shipping. And they said, sure, come on down, 10 to 4, Monday through Friday. And so I drove there. It wasn't hard to find. Went in there. There was nobody, no waiting. Uh, bought it right there. I think I... It, Total cost was about twenty-seven dollars. I didn't have to pay for shipping. So here's here's one way to get it. Um, you will have to pay shipping if you go here. Um, like for me, UPS Ground would have cost me twelve dollars and twenty-one cents. Um, you can also get the same thing online. Sixty watt soldering station via Amazon and you pay a little bit less for shipping here but you pay a little more for the device itself so I just thought I'd show that to you okay so checking out what is in the box uh, when, it, when I got it 
It came with an instruction manual. This is everything that was in the box. Uh, this was boxed up in a separate little box that was inside here. And this was in a separate little box that was also in here. I threw all those boxes away. Um, so I put a lot of other stuff in there. Um, this had a little protection uh, with a tip and came in this plastic bag. I really like this uh, soldering station. Uh, come with a little sponge. This is this is really nice. Uh, a little rubber pad on the bottom here. This is solidly constructed. Uh, on and off switch. So what happens is that uh, in order to use this, uh, that's heavy, and it works really well. Uh, so when you use this, you basically turn it on, and one light will go on. One light will go on. And the other light will blink. So I was soldering some wires and I set the temperature about there. That's the first time I used it. And I was just kind of heat up some wires and splice them, solder them together. And so I set it there. I turned it on and it started to blink. And the blinking stops. The blinking stops when it is reached the temperature, the desired temperature. And so here's the instructions. Let me see if I can put those in there. It says plug the soldering iron into the front panel of the main body, plug in the AC cord, turn on the power switch, set the temperature for rotating the dial. The heater lamp will blink on and off. When the desired temperature has been reached, the blinking will stop. The unit is now ready to perform soldering. So there you go. And I have to tell you, what happened with this is I set it to 305, 315, whatever that is, uh, 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And I hit this switch. It was blinking for a very short time. I, I don't know precisely how long it was, but it heated up really quick. And it did an outstanding job. And it's it's really all that I need for a soldering station. They have nicer ones. They have ones with digital displays and all that, um, which will actually tell you what the actual temperature of the tip is but this is gonna suit my needs it's more than I need um, I don't do a lot of soldering uh, I'm probably going to be putting together a camera a micro FPV camera setup and a quadcopter soon and I might film some of that we'll see uh, but there you go I hope you like uh, like the review and uh, hopefully, if you're in need of a new soldering iron, uh, maybe you'll, instead of spending 20 bucks on a soldering iron, you'll buy a soldering station for about the same price. Good luck, and see you later.